Oh, hello kids! Listen, I have just received an email from Sipo. Come, look! Dear Miss Maka, Hi, how are you? I'm writing this email to tell you about me. Every day I get up at 7 a.m. and brush my teeth. I have a big breakfast because I need a lot of energy to start the day. After that, I go to school. I always have lunch with my friends. In the afternoon, I usually go to Kutu's house. Kutu is my best friend and we have a band together. I play the drums and he plays the guitar. We are super cool. At the moment, I'm writing this email and listening to music in my bedroom. My mom is making cookies yummy. What about you? What do you do every day? Please write back soon. Love, Sipo. Okay, kids, so look at this. This is what Sipo said in his email. Every day, I get up at 7 o'clock in the morning, right? Every day, I get up at 7 o'clock. And then, in the last paragraph, he said, At the moment, my mum is making cookies. Mm, yummy, yummy cookies, I love them. So, at the moment, my mum is making cookies. This is actions happening when? Exactly, right now, at the moment of speaking. Sipo's mother is making cookies right now, you know that, because you're very intelligent. But what happens here? Is Sipo getting up at 7 right now? No, no, remember that right now Sipo is writing his email. So, here we are not talking about an action happening at the moment, we are talking about routines and habits, okay? Things that happen every day, always, usually, sometimes, for example, We have English lessons every day, that's an example. It's not something happening at the moment, it's something that is a routine that usually happens, okay? Look at Sipo here. Sipo always plays his drums, always, okay? Pay attention here, remember that when the person is he, she or it, we need the S at the end of the verb, okay? We need the S at the end of the verb. We need the S at the end of the verb. Only when the person is he, she, it. Got it? Good. Any questions? No? That's great. You're so smart. I love you. I miss you.